Well, the time once again, Andrew's here in the studio with us. I noticed you've got some new shoes on, very handsome there. <laughs> they served him well this afternoon yes, because they did. Uh, he was busy with tornado warnings in Sabine and San Augustine counties. Yeah. What size are those? Uh, 13. Well, oh. maybe I can use those. Yeah. <laughs> maybe like borrow them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, just in case. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll if talk they're about red, it. though, that's that's when you know they'll just take them. Oh, my gosh. You were busy today. <laughs> yeah, we had everywhere. A, yeah, we had a couple of tornado warnings earlier. The severe weather threat is winding down Good. for us, though. But let's take a latest look at live Viper radar across a large <laughs> portion of the uh, southeastern U.S. Again, you're looking right now at Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Numerous tornado warnings right now across all to our east into uh, Mississippi uh, and down and towards the southern part of the state as well, uh, where there was confirmed tornadoes earlier near Bassfield, Mississippi, which was also hit by a really big tornado a couple of years ago, but also some tornado warnings confirmed tornadoes in eastern Louisiana, south of the city of Monroe right now, heading towards the I-20 corridor crossing into the Mississippi state line, then some severe storms into southern Arkansas here in East Texas. Really, things are starting to quiet down, although I still cannot rule out an isolated cells still developing that could be capable of a stronger uh, thunderstorm. So that's something that we will have to watch for closely. But right now, if you have any friends or family out into uh, eastern Louisiana, Mississippi, towards Alabama, make sure they are staying weather aware because the severe weather threat will continue for that area. Back here to East Texas, though, temperatures are sitting out into the 70s. We are at 74 in Gilmer and Tyler, 76 in Jacksonville, 73 in Center, 72 right now in Hemphill. As you step out the door in Lufkin, it's 75. Uh, very mild for us. And as we head over the next couple of hours, Futurecast, you can still see, tries to develop another thunderstorm or two around uh, in our easternmost areas. That's certainly possible, but I think it's uh, increasingly less likely that we will see an additional thunderstorm developing. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on it. Temperatures by 7 o'clock this evening dropping into the upper 60s to lower 70s. And then as we head into 8 o'clock, most of the storms will start pushing off to our east. At that point in time, temperatures will be dropping pretty quickly behind a cold front moving on in. By midnight tonight, we're already into the 40s through Mount Pleasant and Sulphur Springs, and then still hanging on to the 60s and 70s in deep east Texas. But those will also exit the area as well. And then by 2 a.m., Tonight, temperatures are in the 40s for the most part, with any rain chances coming entirely to an end. We will start your day on Wednesday with temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s, but you have to factor in the wind as well will make it feel about 5 degrees or so colder than it actually is out there. So even though the temperature may be 37 in the Mount Pleasant area, it will feel more like it's in the lower 30s. So a very chilly start to our day tomorrow, especially considering where we were today. By 9 a.m., we're into the 40s with mostly sunny skies. So to recap the morning lows for Wednesday, it's the middle 30s along the I-30 corridor and then the middle 40s down into deep east Texas. Either way, it's chilly and even colder when you factor in the wind. Again, the rainfall total so far for the month of November. This looks to be it for us. Of course, today is the second to last day of November and with no rain in the forecast for tomorrow. Here's where we've ended up still with a rainfall deficit for the month in long in Lufkin and Longview, but it was certainly a good rain overall for the month, at least compared to where we have been as of late. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We will see new rain chances returning to the weekend, but washouts they are not expected for us. We will see warmer temperatures as well for the weekend and then for deep east Texas. It is more of the same look for rain chances to return as we head into the weekend.